Hello there plant lovers! Welcome back to my channel and for those who are new here, welcome and I hope you will consider to hit the subscribe button below, hit the all bell and so you will be notified for my next video. Thank you so much! Today, we will be talking about heartfelt philodendron or it is also known as the sweetheart plant. The botanical name of this plant is Philodendron hideraceum and is also one of those plants that is called It's harder to kill than to keep alive. And this evergreen perennial vine is actually native to tropical America. This diva plant can actually grow both in soil or just in water. However, if you prefer to grow this in soil, you should water when half of the soil is dry. Like most other plants, yellow leaves indicate overwatering of your philodendron. And on the other hand, brown leaves indicate underwatering. It is easy to tell if your philodendron needs watering because its leaves will appear wilted. One of the best aspects of philodendron versatility is they can actually grow and work fine in low light conditions. However, they don't like to be placed in direct sunlight. When given a proper care, this plant is actually one of the most fastest growing plants. So fertilizing is actually not necessary, but if you really want to fertilize your plant to see more growth, you can fertilize this every three to four months. The main drawback of this plant is actually their toxicity. Any parts of this plant, if ingested, whether by pets or humans, can cause severe discomfort, including burning and swelling of the lips, tongue, and throat, also vomiting and diarrhea. According to American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, this plant actually is toxic to dogs, cats, and horses. So do not allow your pets and animals to roam around this plant. Here are the following signs of poisoning caused by philodendron. Oral irritation, pain and swelling of mouth, tongue, and lips, excessive drooling, vomiting, and difficulty swallowing. Also, contact with the plant's sap could cause skin irritation. So for those new houseplant parents, this is one of the best and easiest plant to grow. So I hope you will consider to grab one soon. Enjoy and of course, happy planting! So there you have it, plant lovers. I hope you learned something from today's video. May you be happy, may you be well. May you be safe, may you be peaceful, and may the Holy Spirit continue to protect you and your loved ones today and always. See you there!